Hi guys, this is Shobit. So guys, in this video, I will demonstrate you how to execute your ASP.NET application using Visual Studio code. So as a developer, guys, we start with Visual Studio, but Visual Studio is not lightweighted as compared to Visual Studio code. So if you develop your application using Visual Studio code, it will help you to improve your productivity. So in this demonstration, I will show you how to execute existing application in Visual Studio code. So here you can see I have in my ap existing application up and running. So this is the application which is up and running on port number 44305. And this is the code of this application. Okay, so what I will do, I will execute the same application using Visual Studio code. Okay, so guys, for that Visual Studio, I just need to open the Visual Studio first. So, once it is open, so what first, the very first thing I have to figure out is, in the left hand side, we have an extension icon, click on that. And just verify this C sharp extension is installed on the machine or not. If it is not installed, please install it. Okay, so this is a mandatory for running .NET Core application or maybe any C Sharp application on your machine using Visual Studio Code. So this is you have to install first. After that, you have to go into the folder where your application resides. So here I have already opened. So my application is reside in this folder. Okay, so the very next step you have to do is just click on run and start debugging so once you do that it is asking for an environment so i am selecting dotnet core environment so once i do that so here you can see we have two files automatically generated by visual studio code one is for launch.json second one is for task the launch.json file is basically used for all the configuration which is required to run this application so here it is automatically search the DLL from my project and specify the path of the DLL. So this is the starting point of my application and these are the auto generated file. So you don't need to worry about that. And the task node JSON basically containing the task. For example, if you want to run the .NET command, then what will happen if you want to go for the process publish what will happen if you want to put a watches then these are the arguments and the parameters it specifies in task.json file so again what you have to do you just need to put you just need to click on the start debugging so once you do that here in the terminal you will see the logs and uh, after 5 or 10 seconds you will see your application will be up and running on the port specified by the .NET Core. So here on the port number 5001 you can see my application is up and running. Guys this application you can debug this application also from uh, by putting any breakpoint. So I'll show you suppose I put a breakpoint and I stop it and uh, I just click on again start debugging. So you will see this breakpoint will Okay, here you can see this breakpoint is hitting. So guys, in that case, you can use this existing application in Visual Studio Code, debug it and you can write code also in this. So it would be helpful in many scenarios. For example, Visual Studio taking lots of memory, lots of system resources. If you want to, if you want a very lightweighted code editor, then Visual Studio Code is a nice option for you. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe it and put your comments in the comment box. Thank you so much.